Before either of us ever wrote a line of poetry, we were in prison together and we were interrogated by a very prosy jailer and she said to the two of us, there's absolutely no way you're getting out of here until you can tell me the answer to this question. And she said, the question I want to know about and that your future depends upon is what is the shortest poem that's ever been written? And she said, if that's too hard for you, tell me what's the longest poem that's ever been written. And I'll tell you something, that, that, that is why I, Paula Manny, who is mad keen that you, you watching this, would, would get into the swing of writing a bit of poetry, picking up whatever is handy, any old bit of paper and get a pen and write, do a little bit of writing. And would you believe it, some people are already uh, writing things that look like poems. Some people who, have, who I've had the privilege of meeting on these videos are, uh, are already, uh, have already written something that looks like a poem. So, what, what, that is really, uh, in all seriousness, that is a, a powerful question. What is the longest uh, poem that's ever been written? And more importantly, I think, for people who are beginning to write uh, poetry, um, are even thinking of getting back into writing poetry. Uh, what's the shortest poem that's ever been written? Now, okay, there's a little bit of a trick involved in this because I'm not really posing to you an academic question, one that you've got to do lots of research, but it really is uh, offering you a question which is, how short can this thing I'm going to write be anyway to be a poem. Now there are some people who think a poem has to be 14 lines long in order to be a poem. There are some other people who think a poem has to be three lines long in order to be a poem. And there are some real delinquents out there who think that two words might actually make a poem. And do you know what? The importance of the question is that it's for you to answer. So I'm saying to you is that before you ever, you know, as you're beginning to get into the swing of writing some poetry, almost the most important question you can have in your mind is, how little can I write? Yeah, I just need to make it look like a poem. Fair enough. How short can it be? I've only got five minutes. Now look, we all know to do something for five minutes is better than doing it for, for no minutes. Doing something for two minutes is better than doing it for no minutes. So, and clearly you're not going to be able to write a very long poem in two minutes, but you might well be able to write the shortest poem that's ever been written in your own mind. And of course, there's no right answer to that question. I think what you think is absolutely more important than what I think. So. The great thing about it is that question I suggest to you gives you the freedom to write as little as you like and still call it a poem. It frees you up from all of these model poems that you've seen before in your life that are of a certain length. It gives you the flexibility, the power, the freedom, the authority to be yourself with the form. Of course, make it look like a poem. That's rather important, I do think. So there's my suggestion for from this video, which is think about, well, no, my suggestion is give yourself the freedom to write something of any length at all you like and just get a bit of paper, get the old pen to work and write down anything you like. You can write a really, really long title if you like and then put one word in the poem. There is a guy called, um, oh, what's his name? Anyway, he's a bit crude in America. He would write a very long title and the total number of, uh, the, the, the word in the poem, bollocks. And that could actually be very, very satisfying. So far be it from me to try to curtail you. All I'm saying is get the old bit of paper. This is a, uh, 
This is a receipt for getting an iPhone repaired. Perfect thing for writing your next poem on. So there we go. Paul O'Mahony thanking you ever so much. I live in Cork in Ireland, by the way, and I do hope I'll be uh, able to have your company again sometime soon. Uh, write the old po poetry. Get the old pen out. Do it and do it today. Do it now, now. It only takes a minute or so to write a poem. Thank you so much for your company. Um, namaste and any other way you'd like to be greeted. All the best. Bye until very soon again and write something.